Hello friends, welcome back to strategic management. We have tried to build up a case around strategy, definitional framework of strategy, several kinds of views and perspectives around strategy and strategic management at large. Now introducing the terms associated with strategy which actually few of these terms they came before strategy and understanding of strategy and usage of strategy with the perspective of business specially. They were, they were slightly more prominent as far as the business terminology and literature and applications go. For example, policy, for example, planning, even tactics. I would not go into the dates and the era when which was started and why it, it, it diminished and so on that, that we can talk at length because uh, as a geographical reality many of the countries still are using several kinds of terms which have become you know uh, which, which have been abandoned somewhere else. So, let us not go into that, but uh, we are trying to focus upon a globally acceptable terminology and trying to understand that what it connotes where and that is how we are trying to build up a situation here in terms of uh, you know our understanding about strategy and strategic management and that is why we are now trying to understand two key concepts one is strategic planning and the other is strategic thinking closely related to strategy preceded by the word strategy, but having a different kind of a meaning. Let us see what we will find out. But before I go ahead, I wish to remind you that ultimately you see the objective here is that somehow we should be using all these terms separately with a specific perspective and specific usage uh, as you know as designated in terms of their definitional framework. But before I go ahead as I said we must remember one thing that on one side when we are talking about strategy we are talking about strategically managing things and I talked about that we may call things which would turn into value chains and value webs later on as per our understanding would go you know would, would tell us in due course of time and that would be an interesting element how that, that we would learn that how we actually drive value chains through strategy. So, strategically manning, managing things and you may put up a fill in the blanks here you may uh, write things or you may write value chains or to begin with you may write organizations or you may write anything else basically which is relevant. But, but at the end of the day we would be reaching to a stage wherein we would be saying that we learned strategy to strategically manage value webs and at least value chains that is how we would be thinking about. So, that is one part and that we have talked about, but just to reiterate now on the other side here at this juncture when we are referring to plans strategic planning we are talking about management of strategy, how to manage strategy which we have devised for ourselves in due course of time. That is now, now it is interesting for us to understand two things. One is management of strategy looks at specific steps and how to do list basically can be very specifically short term or mid term kind of a thing that is what plans are all about. Very very long term planning sometimes you know is it is done in a larger frame, but it is not usually done. On the other side when we see uh, you know the, the other side of the picture strategically managing value chains for example, we are actually talking about very very long term perspective and that is how both the ends are differentiated with a common kind of uh, you know perspective and a common word that is strategy. So, this is what we have to learn. So, we have to learn two things one is our eyes are at the short term kind of targets or objectives and we 
are looking at strategy and this is this is again through you know the term strategy you would realize realize in due course of time that when we, when we would say that what is your functional strategy what is your strategy for this coming up year uh, this, this is upcoming year sorry and on the other side we are saying you know strategy is a long term pathway and that is how we have to keep this in our mind simultaneously having two connotations short term long term this side that side this side that side and that is what you will keep on thinking in due course of time and i i suggest that when this word strategy comes to us we should have both the elements simultaneously running in our minds and just to reemphasize this point let me reiterate this uh, you know the definitions which we have talked about at length so peter drucker talks about you know resources and you know incorporating those resources uh, you know as far as analyzing the present situation and what they should be and then alfred chandler talks about resources and you know long term perspective and you know igor ensov also talked about growth vector competitive advantage and mintzberg a very important contributor whose reference i would be using in subsequent discussion basically talks about you know organizational decisions to deal with environment and consistent patterns basically you know long term perspective once again so just to reiterate this keep looking into these definitions why here comes the reason the reason is that mintzberg and the other contemporary authors also you know mintzberg specifically talks about that strategy is not equal to planning you cannot use them with synonymity and that is an important thing for us to understand as i said we have to you know many times prefix strategy with planning saying it's a strategic planning it's strategic planning it's a strategy a strategic plan sorry and that is where you know we must understand how they complement each other and how they are different than each other keep this in mind and keep coming along with me in the meanwhile i'll reiterate this reference for you h mintzberg 1994 the fall and rise of strategic planning published in harvard business review reference is given at the base of the slide for you now look at the comparison on one side we have strategy on the other side we have planning and this mintzberg paper along with you know rl martin 2013 13 don't let strategy become planning again published in harvard business review and and you see one paper is written in 1994 the other is written in 2013 uh, at a gap of almost two decades or so but again both the papers both the authors they are trying to differentiate these terms and they are trying to emphasize on the fact that how planning you know may complement strategy but they are different than each other so strategy versus planning when you talk about strategy strategy is about different initiatives and we have seen that in definitional framework and we will see this all through this course largely because this is all about strategy and strategic management at the end of the day and then the second element which is related to strategy is you know strategy requires inventing new categories the you know for example the uh, existing levels of strategy corporate level business level functional level the points of execution from where you execute strategy from where you drive strategy so it talks about you know inventing new categories through its frame of thought or execution or formulation formulation implementation and then and so on that is that is how you can look at it basically so a business level strategy is formulated and executed you may say that strategy is committing style of people with energy you know it's related to committing style of people with energy it's related to leadership it's related to how you conceive things and that we will see in strategic thinking as well it needs to function beyond the boxes you incorporate innovation here you know somehow covid comes in what would you do and you never conceived covid we will be talking about that so you never conceived covid 19 basically and and what is to be done how do you look at it on the other side planning talks about sequence of those initiatives which you have thought of in strategic thinking or strategic perspective you you create a sequence you create 
here you have thought of in terms of categories here you actually look at the action points while you have categorized strategy so sequence of those initiatives or strategies what would be the step one what would be the step two in contemporary literature at many places you would find that we call this kind of a plan perspective strategy itself i would not confuse you by saying that it is interchangeable but the point is many a times you would hear people saying or you would read somewhere that you know this is my strategy for next few months at the production level basically so here you are actually conceiving an initiative and you are using it as a plan as well and calling it strategy but that is why authors have devoted lot of time and lot of you know energy in differentiating these uh, uh, you know elements and complementarily calling planning as strategic planning uh, by looking into that here you take initiatives and there you create an execution frame of those ex uh, initiatives then second element of planning is that it is dependent on the preservation and rearrangement of established categories as i said it is calculated style of management it is specific step by step execution plan it analyzes the quantity and quantum of resources which would be used it analyzes the uh, resources in terms of financial resources in terms of human resource resources or let's say raw material resources and cost benefit analysis and everything which has to be specifically executed that is one fine morning you come and you execute it that is how uh you know you think in terms of your plan and it is analytical in nature result oriented measurement oriented as far as the whole situation goes what did you get at the end of the day is what you would analyze so again planning is not strategy so strategy is manifested as a long list of initiatives with time frames associated with resources assigned as far as the long term perspective goes here you know this word initiatives that is you have conceived something you you have a situation that this is how i would you know look at these things going ahead when i am strategizing for a long term with a with a long term perspective for example we are going into uh, electric vehicle manufacturing now i always looked at a long term perspective of being one of the most environment friendly and loved organizations in my domain and that is why from automotive business i shifted i would be shifting to ev later on many companies are doing that and then i would be actually augmenting the complete value chain i am associated with my starting from what kind of supplies i would be taking from my suppliers and then how i would be repositioning my products in front of my customers and how would be i, I would i be collating with the government organizations in due course of time that is what i am conceiving as a strategic thought a strategy itself and my plan is that first i would go with this kind of a production would establish the market then would start replacing my own products and backing those products with a service orientation are you getting my point this is what we intend to go for and i would be elaborating on these kind of things in due course of time keep this in mind as far as evs go for example indian railways might be looking at high speed trains in due course of time and uh, let's say few decades from now or or maybe in a shorter span of time if, if they are actually putting lot of energy in this area you have high speed trains running instead of all kinds of trains which are running at this moment basically and you completely change the system which is which which you uh, you know see as far as indian railways go probably so there are several kinds of things which we are for example i, I always say that probably some day you know many companies would be eliminating keyboards as far as the uh, this computer usage go touch screen has already replaced many things and screen based you know uh, typing has uh, in, uh, you know uh, replaced many things but still it is typing and probably you know dictation and thoughts associated with com uh, computers might replace almost everything probably let's see but companies have a strategy associated with that that some day computer would be the part of your brain and your body system 
in the form of your mobile or any other screen you would be having right up right now in front of you and that that would be thinking parallelly alongside you and you would be giving directions to the computer and it would be executing so many kinds of things probably they have this kind of a strategic thought since the beginning and they are executing a plan around it and as customers we are part of that plan aren't we aren't we dependent on our mobiles a lot today and you see the other day someone was uh, saying uh, in in one of the gatherings probably when uh, i was listening to some learned person and uh, he was explaining how before covid 19 he used to carry cash a lot and today he just carries his mobile phone and upi app is one of the most important means for payments he does anywhere he goes and he has stopped carrying cash completely and many people have started doing that ultimately our wallets are being completely replaced by our mobiles probably this was the thought associated with uh, you know these organizations since long back and they are executing their plan systematically here we are generating a difference in in both the things next is uh, when we are talking of strategy the initiatives are themselves often called strategies as i said that is each different initiative is a strategy in itself now we are talking of strategy in bits and cumulatively it's a long term thing never forget that this side that side from this step to that step or or uh, all the steps yeah so first step second step third step can be called as strategy and all the steps jointly at the end of the day can have to be called as strategy so so the initiatives are themselves often called strategies that is each different initiative is a strategy and the plan is an organized list of strategies plan is an organized sequential list of strategic steps which you would be taking and at the end of the day let's say five decades from now you would say that this was my strategic planning to execute this strategy which i conceived almost 3 4 5 decades ago strategy is not planning it is the making of an integrated set of choices now here comes the integration of those strategic steps which i am referring integrated step uh, sets of uh, choices that collectively position the firm in its industry so as to create sustainable advantage relative to competition and deliver superior financial returns here please mark these words sustainable advantage when you say sustainable advantage you are implying that these integrated set of choices which you are making is for long term and that is how we are looking at this side that side steps which are called as strategy at every stage and cumulatively it is definitely called as strategy so it has many connotations and sequential framed execution of these steps is planning now let's see strategic planning or strategic thinking you see strategy is analyzing resources finding resources looking into resources looking into the time frame how you would conceive those how you would visualize about those we have seen the definitions strategic thinking is slightly you know on a wider scale when you are strategically thinking about when you are not actually framing it into a structure of a larger time span that is where strategic thinking comes in i will be touching upon that but let's see how different it is from strategic planning first of all so as i was talking about covid 19 you see it has turned businesses around the world upside down we all understand that and the reference is in front of you so it is it has been taken from harvard business you know dot org so all the businesses were focused upon fire fighting they were focused upon how to steer through this kind of a situation everyone was presuming that definitely with all the cumulative efforts and uh, you know courage of the warriors of covid-19 situation the people who developed vaccine people who served people doctors everyone everyone associated defense forces police personnel you know cleaning personnel hospital staffs everyone all these people with their courage we would be able to drive ourselves through this kind of a situation so they were fire fighting on surviving on managing unforeseen circumstances and those weren't part of anyone's strategic plan 
here comes you know you created a plan where covid-19 was no where it was it was a sudden situation and at a time like this what would organizations do what should they be doing that is where you know this strategic planning or strategic thinking comes in here comes strategic thinking here definitely a strategy is there that i would be going for next 50 years with this kind of an orientation with this kind of a scheme with this kind of a perspective wherein you have this kind of a framed thought of you know going for next 5 decades wherein definitely you are not accounting you are analyzing the environment you are analyzing political technological and every sort of an element of environment you are you are presuming that this kind of a technological development would go would would uh, go ahead or would come up in front of you and you would take advantage of that but you are somehow not very very specific in terms of what kind of exigencies or problems uh, you know floods and earthquakes and uh, you know uh, geopolitical situations or or other forms of economic exigencies or let's say pandemic would come in front of you so that is not there here comes the role of strategic thinking versus strategic planning and and strategy is a binding force all through so 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 keep that in mind so strategic planning is not strategic thinking and the reference is again mintzberg and and the same paper we are referring to for explaining all all the elements interesting paper you must read that so planning has always been about analysis about breaking down a goal or a set of intentions into steps we have talked about that formalizing those steps so that they can be implemented almost automatically you see it's an execution it's a checklist it is how to do list who will do that what time everything specific as far as you know its character goes and articulating the anticipated consequences or results that means every step should be measurable and the most successful strategies are visions not plans i'll be talking about that i'll be talking mintzberg talks about it with a different kind of a connotation but look at this and this is where i'll end up this session and i'll rejoin you with different kind of uh, you know uh, an elaborative perspective on and and build up the case around you know different aspects which would be complementary to strategy in due course of time so here comes strategic planning planners organize the events break down a goal or a set of intentions into steps it has a schedule it is very specifically scheduled it can be predicted that is why it is a plan and it can be it it is based on analysis it can be further analyzed and it is result oriented now here comes strategic thinking you know it talks about the integrated perspective of the organization and that is where thinkers they come in they look at every functional area every functional aspect in coherence with each other it is free to appear at any time and at any place basically you you just can visualize that this kind of an innovation can you know motivate the production department to do this and this production department can then further motivate uh, get motivated to bring on new products and this would actually initiate new product lines this would this might initiate new kinds of this might uh, you know get new kinds of customers and this might get you know this the whole picture keeps on building in terms of you know even getting diverted towards new businesses and so on so you know that is how it it evolves it needs intuition and creativity that is what specifically we are talking about for example uh, you know a ceo one standing or or a production head one standing uh, in in a steel manufacturing unit and looks at the product and then conceives that oh well why why can't we go for finished products for example that is how finished products in uh, produced by steel industry might have evolved in due course of time many a times you know someone is standing somewhere and uh, a thought comes to you know this restaurant can be converted into a fast food restaurant uh, many a times for example you know someone is looking at uh, the newspaper they publish and they say oh well Uh, this can be a common read rather than specific news basically so it can be a reading uh, pleasure reading entertainment somehow someone looking at a news looking at a news reader and listening to news uh, somehow and and they realize that it can be converted into a show and that is probably prime time show would have come but when you say you are conceiving prime time show that that means the content has to be there the debate has to be generated experts have to be roped in 
new kinds of a new kind of positioning has to be done and uh, then all whole lot of a different kind of a structure around that specific time which was news time has to be done for making it a prime time show. So, that is where strategic thinking comes in and that is the precise difference when you say that traditional strategic planning involves creating a road map that enables an organization to achieve its goals and is the responsibility of executives. Strategic thinking on the other hand is a mindset and technique that everyone in an organization can and should practice. It involves looking at one's work with a broader focus and across a longer time frame than usual. So, strategy to strategic management to planning to thinking and all together at one single place. You can think that way, you should start thinking that way. I will be coming back to you with lots of other insights and then lots of examples to further structure our thought process and understanding about strategy and strategic management. I will be catching up back with you. Till then, goodbye.